thank you to our awesome patrons who made this video possible. To join our community and get cool rewards like postcards from around the world, click the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash the way away. Good morning, Wayfam from Plum Norway. I'm Josh. And I am Ashley. Welcome to The Way Away. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, give us a like, and hit that bell so you can follow more of our adventures. We are continuing our Nordic Summer Series. Today, we are going on the Norway in a Nutshell Tour, the second day of our tour. We went from Bergen to Flan, and now we're going from Flan to... Oh, that was your cue. Oslo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is early in the morning. We got up to catch this train. I'm really excited because it is definitely something to do here in Norway. So this is the Flamsbana, the so-called Flam train. And it's taking us here from Flam all the way to Myrdal, where I think that's where we're catching our connection, right? Exactly. Yeah. And then we'll be on the national train. Mm. Um, this train ride though, you, uh, so our, our whole thing is that we were telling you guys how you can do DIY mm -hmm. uh, Norway in a nutshell, because normally you would buy the tour and they would give yeah. you a bunch of tickets. But this way we are doing it in a much cheaper way by doing it ourselves. Yesterday we talked about how you should buy the tickets ahead of time mm -hmm. or not. Not. And this train, you have to buy Absolutely. tickets ahead of time. It sells out like crazy. This early train may not be completely sold out because it's only people who are staying who stay the night here. Right. But the rest of the day was completely sold out when we tried to get it. So and you also cannot do it on the website. You have to call and get the tickets from them, or when you arrive in country, which you're taking a chance of them all being booked out. Yeah. Which but is what we did. We talk about the Norway in a nutshell tour as if it's a tour, but in reality, it's yeah. a tour group that sells you a group of tickets. There is no tour guide there's nothing you you're doing everything that we're doing you yeah. just bought the tickets beforehand in a very convenient way in a package yeah which is yeah. nice because you don't have to worry about any anything going wrong in that way but we also met some people yesterday who their train was delayed and it screwed the whole <laughs> schedule so there's also that possibility and you pay a premium price to get those tickets in yeah. a package whereas we are showing up leaving extra time mm -hmm. um, yeah and it's been wonderful and because we have our interrail tickets um, pretty much all the train travel has been either free or at a, a steep discount. We got 30% off this dis this train, yep. um, which is great. I think we paid $60 total for both of us. Wow. All right. The train has taken off unceremoniously. No whistle, sadly, <laughs> but they did have an announcement in both German, Norwegian, and English. That was nice. Um, so we learned a couple things. It's about 20 kilometers long, 60 minutes, and at one point, the highest grade we'll go over is one meter up over 18 meters. So pretty steep, but not like super steep. We're supposed to see rivers and mountains yeah. and beautiful nature. I'm looking forward to it. Only an hour, but we're gonna soak it all in. And we're starting from about two meters above sea level and we'll finish at around 880-ish meters, so almost a kilometer up. up. train to go past. It's the other train coming from the Myrdal Mi 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 mm. to Falm. So we're actually at the halfway point and so far it's been really beautiful. We're sitting on the right hand side of the train if you are headed to uh, Myrdal from Flam, and we've seen about it's about half and half in terms of views. We've had the first half on uh, this side of the views and the second half is on that side. Yeah, so by the end we'll let you know which side to sit on.
quick five minute photo break at Schulzfossen Waterfall. It is beautiful. That's like Instagram versus reality. Hold on, there's a girl dancing and singing up there. <laughs> How'd she went around it? She's getting that Instagram versus that reality so shot. Strange. And then you have the, the thousand people sitting yeah. here all clamoring to get a photo. <laughs> That's so funny. I just oh. had a peaceful moment this morning by the waterfall. You can go up by there. Look, there's a little ladder right there and some rope. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely not for just, that you're not supposed to just do that. Freaky. Why would they have a ladder? You can crawl over the fence with that ladder. Just because a child is sitting on the ladder that leads to a safety guideline across the rock face does not mean that you can just do it. I would do it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'll I don't, you. we don't have time. We have five minutes. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I do have to appreciate the artistry, however. It appears that the railway has hired somebody to uh, momentarily like appear and then disappear from behind the ridge to just, to just dance and, and it, they're talking about the hoodra before. So it's fun, they, they got someone actually acting out there as a hoodra, which is, which is fun. I don't think that's I the case. I think that is the case. She's literally know. looking at us and dancing. <laughs> doesn't think that the girl was paid but they just showed a picture of her on the in in the in train entertainment system She's obviously a nymph that lives up there mm. and has been there previously okay <laughs> has anyone else seen this girl on the trip That's I find it a strange coincidence that she's there while we're here and also on the uh, entertainment system here it's a very strange coincidence it's a strange coincidence very very strange mm. Our next stop is Mirdal. Next stop, Mirdal. This is the final station for this journey. The same train goes back to North in like 40 all right, we've arrived to Myrdal, and our connecting train to Oslo is just literally across the track. <laughs> All right, final review of the Flom Railway. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah, um, yeah. to me it was more like a 7. It wasn't right. as long as I had hoped. Um, but yeah, it was good. It's so beautiful here. It really is beautiful. Uh, the train, I think, is a really nice way of seeing it. But I think that our train ride from Oslo to Bergen was actually better. Like, sure. I liked it so much But more. it was 8 times longer. Yeah, that's true. And we will be doing a five hour version of that Portion. in the next portion of the video. Mm -hmm. Now we did say that we were going to tell you whether you should sit on the right or the left hand side of the train when you're coming from Flum to Myrdal. Yeah. I'm not sure it really matters. Honestly both sides were equally as beautiful. Yeah they do a really good job. I mean I guess they didn't plan it that way but it has a lot of things to see on either but side. Both sides. If I had to choose perhaps the right side had a slight edge if you're headed from uh, Flum to Myrdal. So take that with a grain of salt. We enjoyed it immensely. It was beautiful. Um, yeah I think we're going to head on to Oslo. It's so pretty. We're in the mountains right now and I love it up here. Doing a hike up here would be amazing. I would just take the train here, then hike. <laughs> We've begun our train journey from Myrdal to Oslo and I have to say, this train trip's scenery is more beautiful. Immediately, it Way is. Way more beautiful. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying don't go on the, yeah. uh, the Flamsbana because if you haven't seen any of that, it can be beautiful. Yeah, well, all right, so well, it got dark in the middle. But the point is, like, the normal transportation here in Norway is incredibly beautiful. Yeah. And you're not missing anything. Definitely just do the train from Oslo to Bergen. I can't stop getting shots of this. It is, it is it's just so, so gorgeous. Yeah. I felt like I needed to show the Flam Railway, but this one I can't help but put the camera at. <laughs> it's so, so gorgeous.
arriving to Oslo Station now. How was that? It was pretty good. It was just chillax. I watched a few shows. I listened to a podcast. I edited a video. Yeah, Josh did good. <laughs> Worked. <laughs> My butt hurts. Yeah. It's been a long ride, but we're gonna go check out our Airbnb now. I really like your rail. It's made this entire trip so convenient and fun. Uh, this whole Nordic Summer Series was planned around the idea that we could do the train through the Nordics, and we've pretty much done that the entire way. So there's a link in the description, which is our affiliate link, which means that if you're interested in going on your rail really anywhere in Europe, you can get tickets through us, and then we get a small cut, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So thanks for checking it out, and on the show. On second thought, we can't go to our Airbnb. <laughs> Josh spoke too soon. This is something that we've come across quite often is that um, Airbnbs, you can't check in until like three, four, maybe even five in the afternoon. And it's hard to plan our schedule around that. So we just end up spending time in coffee shops waiting for our Airbnbs to be available to us. So that's exactly what we have to do. We have to wait an hour and a half until we can get into our Airbnb here in Oslo. But I'm not really complaining. It's really hot out here. Probably the, one of the hotter days that we've sure. had while in um, Scandinavia. And um, Espresso House has been our go-to in Scandinavia. Like every country has it um, in the Nordics. And uh, it's kind of like their Starbucks. It's not like the best coffee, but It'll it's do. good in a pinch. And we're uploading a video right now and their internet is always super duper fast and reliable. Oh. <gasps> We've arrived at our Airbnb and it is gorgeous, so we're gonna take you on a quick tour of this place, not too long because we've already spent so much time talking. So Ash, lead the way. Yeah, so we spent $422 <clears throat> to stay here for seven nights. $60 a night, okay. actually not that terrible. Not too bad. Like $30 per person, Sure. Um, but not as, you know, like we like to keep it cheap and, <laughs> and <laughs> but we have a whole apartment here in Oslo. Mm -hmm. um, this is our kitchen area. Super clean, crisp. Something about like Nordic countries is that they hide things. Like this little shelf, you would never guess that it's a dishwasher inside. Yep, I love it. <laughs> and this side, nice, clean, crisp, but you would never guess it's the refrigerator. Love it. Looks the same as all the rest of the stuff. We have a nice desk area where we'll be working this week. So Josh, Josh, it's really important for Josh to have a comfortable sitting area for working and editing. So Josh has already set himself up yep, right here. Yep. <laughs> and then a cute little living space right here where we'll be watching a movie. Today is a very hot day, so we will not be setting a fire in here. No, you're good? Yeah, yeah, it's too hot outside. <laughs> and then through here, a little entryway. That's the door to get in, by the way. Yep. And then our bedroom with our bed right here. A nice window where air is coming in at the moment. And then the bathroom is actually connected to the bedroom. So this is the bathroom. I love these tiles. They're super interesting. Kind of like rock, but it's it's tiled. And then a nice shower here with an what are these called? The rain uh, ones? Sure, like yeah. Like overhead plus a little smaller one. And then um, a little wood set up with a sink and a washer, which we'll be using. So super comfortable space for us for a whole week. I'm excited to stay here and actually unpack because a week is like a long period of time for us to be in one place. So that concludes our Norway in a nutshell portion of the Nordic Summer Series. Over the last two videos, we went from Bergen to Oslo by yes. way of Flum. We went through, uh, uh, we did some bus rides, went through a fjord, did some train rides through scenic areas, and it was gorgeous. Yes. But I will say, <laughs> I think the Norway in a nutshell tour is fantastic marketing, and it does what it says on the tin. Yeah. It is Norway in a nutshell. But if you plan to do any other travel throughout Norway, you're basically going to get the exact same experience just by way of traveling through Norway, except for the fjords. The fjords That's is the, one the reason to do it, I right. think. Doing the two hour um, boat ride through yep. the fjords is very unique yep. and something that not many countries and cultures have. So for sure that's worth it. But I would say the train from Oslo to Bergen or Bergen to Oslo, I mean, that, that alone. is the best portion of the trip. Um, and there are so many little towns that I just wanted to write down and then come back to. No, it's true. I mean, not even not even to say like the the Flumsbahn, 
was just so noisy. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard to like. It was it, just really noisy. It used to be a steam engine, uh -huh. but then they changed it and it's fully it's electric like, now. Yeah, yeah, which but is it's odd like how really noisy. squeaky. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to poo poo it too much because if you've never been to Norway, if you've never experienced yeah. this, it is a fantastic way to get Norway in a nutshell over two days. Yeah. If you do plan to just visit Bergen already, maybe you don't need to do it. <laughs> It's totally up to you. It is, it is extra cost for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a cheap thing to do, even nope. the way that we did it. But if you do do it by mm -hmm. yourself, it will definitely be cheaper than how you would do it sure. um, with the with Norway a tour company. And shell. Yeah. So more from our Nordic summer series to go. We are in the last leg of it with Norway. Uh, we're going to spend some time in Oslo first, and then meet up with some friends for a road trip through Norway. Yeah. So more to come. Wayfam, I hope we encourage you to get out there and travel today. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawayman. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us.